welcome to my YouTube channel, Panacham Trading. This is Christina here. I'm an Elliott Wave trader. I trade the market using Elliott Wave perspective. And uh, this is not a financial advice. It is just an idea. It is just a, a wave count and prediction and a little bit of creativity that I mix it up into the uh, TA sometimes. Now, I am looking at this... Uh, uh, channel here as you can see I've drawn out the Kennedy channel. So what is a Kennedy channel? Right is a three channels first you want to find the base channel here Okay, where typically the wave for is where it's gonna land. All right the third channel is Determine the acceleration channel is determined whether the third wave has finished or not okay so if it's finished it will be broken out from the channel now the third thing is the deceleration channel which is the correction of the wave four is uh, usually an ABC or a bull flag okay so this is a part of Elliott wave another technique to find whether the impulse has finished going up or is it reversing okay let me let me remove all of that let me see let me see let me see okay let me remove all of that okay now I'm gonna go one by one all right first we pull a base channel here okay what we do we take a base channel now you you'll be asking hey why why don't you draw the base channel like that right because it doesn't align look at that okay which mean if it if it wants to be part of the you know then then this thing could go really high like that you see you get what I mean you, you're looking what I'm seeing here right you can do like that as well okay if this is the real base channel but I don't want to do this just yet because I want to find the top of the tree or maybe the top whatever it is okay it could be it, it could be going for the big this whole structure was this is a one wave and then this is a third wave up well I mean it could be right it absolutely could be but what I'm saying is I, I don't want to think about whether this is the third wave of the third or whatever okay I'm gonna focus on this right now okay so what I think what I think we're just gonna draw this up okay I mean it totally makes sense you know this whole structure was a one two this is a one two and it's going three four five and we're gonna go to 14k why not I mean it's a clear structure I mean it's a real nice structure and it's like it's making internally it's uh, making a tree with up something like that why not why not guys why not it's possible right absolutely okay but how do we get there first we need to finish this third wave right are we gonna short this mm, I'll think about it maybe maybe not Right. Okay. Now uh, let's get back to our focus. Now let's let's pull the three channels here. First, we pull the base channel. Check. Okay. The second, we pull the acceleration channel. All right. Which is from the first wave here to the possibly the top. Okay. Which is over here. Okay. Possibly the top over here. So we pull it from here. And we pull it from to here, right? That's what the textbook says, right? And noticed it broke down. So, which means this could be a fourth wave, which which means the, the fifth wave is done. So, the, the, the point is, if we break down from this channel, break down from this channel, it means the third wave is done. Sometimes people look for a reason, hey, is the third wave done? Or is it fourth wave done? No, nobody knows, right? So what it does, okay, you pull up a channel like that, so you know that this is a one, two, three, the third wave is finished. 
So we know that the third wave is finished and it's making the fourth wave, right? So basically, when you pull this channel, right, you see that it's breaking down. You put a stop loss right here, right? When when actually when it comes down here, you know that it's gonna go up again for before you know cutting your your take take your profit and then you know wait for the bull flag to break out or whatever, right? Uh, yeah, or maybe tag the base channel like that. Okay, so but eventually, you know, there's many ways to pull the pull, bull flag as well. Okay, it could be like that as well. Okay, so technically, bull flag broken, retested here, and pumped. Okay, so um, and the bull flag, which is the deceleration channel, you wanna. You want to take the long over here. So whenever you see this base channel and then it retrace, retrace which means it the, the third wave is finished and then you want to measure it where the fourth wave would land which is over here, okay? Check and it bounced, right? And then and then it broke out from the bull bull flag and then it retest, okay? Just take a look. Zoom out for you guys. Broke out, retest, okay, and then bam. So what's the target here? Okay, that we're gonna use a fib, Fibonacci to measure it. Okay, potentially for this wave, for this particular wave, I'm not gonna say the continue continuation. Okay. What I mean by continuation, I mean it could be like this is a one, two, and this whole structure is a third wave, and then coming down for the fourth and then the fifth. I mean it could be like I said, but I don't want to focus on that. Okay, we're gonna trade wave by wave. All right. So now we have a one, two, three, four, five. Five is about to finish, but where would the five end? Okay, let me show you guys how I pull the fifth. Right, I'm just I'm just gonna take the fifth trend. It's right over here. Okay, trend flip extension. Okay, you just take the bottom here. I believe that which is where the first wave is, which is right here, right? Okay, now you measure the top here and then you measure it here. First, we want to check whether it has reached the 2618, which is already dead. Potentially, it's going to go for a 3618, most likely, and maximum it could go up as a 12316. But if it goes beyond that, then there's that it means that it is something else that it potentially that this is a some kind of a extended fifth or whatever and it's going to 14k right right away and right now okay now I want to uh, just talk about this structure it could be just a five wave up until twelve thousand and fifty dollars okay all right now we, we get the three six one eight all right now we want to find a confluence on it okay let me just uh, fix it up oops let me fix it up I'm gonna remove uh, some of the fib I'm gonna make it a little bit clean so that you guys can see what I see I want to see a three six one eight and okay all right now we want to find a confluence here to the 1205 right okay we just take the fifth trend all right we'll measure the bottom we measure the top here okay and then we measure the last bottom here and we're gonna change it and we're gonna put a 0 0.5 0 0.618 as you can see the confluence that it will reach most likely the fifth wave is usually they reach uh, 618 of the whole structure. That's the point, right? Uh, it's an Elliott wave uh, theory, okay? So uh, usually reach 618, which is 12,000 around here. So there's confluence here. Now, the second way to measure is you take a fib retracement, okay? You take a fib retracement, you measure the fourth wave, which is the top over here, and you pull it over here, and you want to get the 1618, okay? And the 1272, all right? Now, why would I put on you? You see that this one six one eight. So, which means the confluence is over right here. Okay, is where the mark the, the the fifth wave is gonna end. If this is a fifth wave, okay. If this is the fifth wave. Now, it could it could stop right here. 
Okay, you could stop right here. It's gonna be. Uh, I don't want to be. You know, too um, overly. You know. So I I have I'm in long position. So I have two take profit plays. Okay, I'm gonna take partial profit around eleven thousand eight hundred fifty. Okay, the rest I hope it writes to at least twelve thousand. Okay, that's what I'm hoping right now. Now, it uh, doesn't have to go there as well, but as you can see here, there's confluence on these two targets. Okay, yeah, you just, you know, go to the macro here and just take a look. Okay, the, I mean, there's a lot of resistance here. You see that? There's a lot of resistance right at, at this price. Okay, there's a lot of resistance here. There, there is resistance over here as well. Okay, so I want to take profit right here, right here as well. Okay, now I'm going to do another different confluence, okay? The whole structure of this, okay? I've talked about it, okay? It's going to reach 786, okay? Use the fit retracement, all right? And I'm going to uh, do a 786. As you can see, 786, it hit right over here, Okay? So technically, one can take all of your profit somewhere around here, okay? I mean, if you don't want to, you know, risk it, uh, losing all your profit and everything. I mean, I get it, right? But there's a confluence on this level as well. So that is why I take partial profit here and, up, and the second profit over here right away, okay? So uh, that's my idea. Okay, so that's a confluence, right? Uh, well, what happened if it kids pumps? Well, I don't really care because nothing we can do because I'm just following, following the TA, you know, we can't win it all. But for sure, I'm going to take profit here and profit here. That's all. That's a confluence I'm getting right now. Okay, now there's another tricky thing. Okay, it could be just a flat. Okay. What I mean, what I mean is, it could do something like this. And still tag the base channel, you see, guys. You still, you still can tag the base channel, and then fill the gap, probably, right? Could be. So in this case scenario, because since I'm long over here, so I put my stop loss over here. In case it comes down, I still able to, you know, protect my uh, uh, account from getting liquidated. No, I won't get liquidated. Uh, I mean, taking losses. I don't want to take lo losses, okay? So, that's a pretty neat uh, Kennedy Channel uh, theory. Uh, it's an edit wave uh, way of uh, tracking and impulse, okay? So, technically, both flag has broken out, so it was uh, awesome. And I took along here, okay, somewhere around here. I think it's 11400 and 40 yep uh, and then I mean profit right now uh, let's see what happens next I mean anything could happen just always have your stop loss now I'm expecting some kind of uh, zigzag uh, you know like a, f a fourth wave like an A B C D E without tagging my uh, stop loss and then E and then it's gonna do a mirror high like that okay so but technically you can go as high as this why not uh, if you just you know like you measure the bull flag from here to here I mean technically you can go as high as here as well but I don't want it to go that high so uh, I think maybe a minimal like that could do yep that's it okay so all right you guys i hope you guys learned something on this kennedy channel uh it's in my telegram group i already posted it, this for you guys so you guys could study it and i know you know like eventually learn something about it and try to find the impulse uh, uh you know get to know whether the impulse has ended or not so it's quite important that Aww. it's quite important that we we need to know that whether it's complete or not Okay, so I was expecting this move uh, to 12k. Uh, 
and we're gonna short it if you saw my last uh, video I talked about it we're gonna take a short on 12k over here and the stop loss right over here and we're gonna take it down all right you guys thank you for watching guys I'll see you guys next time and uh, hopefully this is a great opportunity for you guys to maybe support me in my patreon and maybe you guys could uh, join my uh, telegram group and down the link uh, description below make sure you subscribe and like my channel all right see you guys later bye